Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to talk about the fourth animated episode that came out for Absolute Carnage. Uh, this new one has, again, Norman Osborn. He's struggling with the Cletus Cassidy persona inside of him. And uh, there's this great moment at the beginning where he goes back and he's like meets Dark Carnage. And Dark Carnage is like, you're worthless. You know, you're not doing anything. Again, I'm kind of curious where in the timeline this happens. I'm guessing all this happens before, like in between maybe issues one and two before he sends Norman Osborn out to go after like, um, you know, Scorpion and Miles Morales and all that stuff. I'm going to guess it probably happens before then because I'm like, yeah, this the, the town isn't overrun by carnages yet. So I guess it does happen at that point because there's still people out in the street and there's like uh, cops are like hanging out. There's uh, the the um, the psychiatrist that talks to Norman Osborn in the first episode that taunts him trying to get the Norman side to come out. Um, he's back in this one and he uh, has a great, there's a great, this whole thing is just like a conversation. It's two people sitting in a chair, which you know sometimes I get aggravated about uh but uh but since this is like you know the, with budget and things like that they're just like hey we got to do something simple but it's effective like the conversation is really great because it's norman osborne cletus trying to to talk to the psychiatrist and say fix me help me get like why isn't the norman side coming out why is there a cletus side uh you know you know tell me and the, and the doctor's like dude are the psychiatrist like i don't know man like I, i'm not an expert on alien you know symbiotes and stuff he's like uh, maybe because it you know it, it bonded with you know Cletus Cassidy in jail through his bloodstream maybe it carries part of Cletus with it and because it only only ever really bonds to Cletus and it's completely connected to Cletus and Cletus doesn't say we are carnage he says I am carnage uh so when the symbiote has gone on to other people which we'll talk about you know in upcoming episodes too where it's you know in Superior Spider-Man stuff where it finds other hosts um even Silver Surfer and stuff it doesn't stay for long because it really does feel you know, um, you know, that separation anxiety is really more intense with Cletus Cassidy. So I guess, so the doctor's like, so I guess when you got ripped, the symbiote got ripped out of you during the Red Goblin storyline, uh, that, that DNA still resided in you and it, it stayed inside your mind. And since Norman was so exhausted from that experience being, you know, having the suit ripped off him, maybe he's just weak right now. He goes, but clearly the Norman side is coming back. And that's what this whole episode was, was them exploring that and them two talking. And it was fantastic. So yeah, I don't want to spoil too much of what happened in this episode. I want to, you know, obviously I want you guys to go watch it for yourself. So I'll put a link down below so you can go check it out. Uh, but it was great. And this was like a whole dialogue driven episode, like most of them are. Uh, but there was some cool stuff at the beginning where Dark Carnage, you know, is like disappointed in this version of Cletus. But then there's also some understanding, like within this version of Norman slash, uh, Norman slash Cletus. Like he's kind of like trying to figure out what's going on, what's happening to him mentally. And the suit is too. And the, and the suit even decides to take a stand, even though it's a little bit of the opposite stand that it took in the last episode. I feel like with this series, like, you know, Donny Cates did it with uh, the main book. I feel like the suit, the symbiote, just all of a sudden decided to become like this blood thirsty killing thing that wants to like kill Norman or whatever. It's like, it just makes a stand out of nowhere and it feels a little out of character so i'm wondering if they're going to explain that somehow that sean ryan who writes these uh, same thing i felt like i was like well the symbiote did the opposite thing in the last episode but i guess now that they committed to be together now it's making this decision like it seems pretty quick like a really quick turnaround but i don't know we'll see but it seems like invested in preserving the Cletus side of this, of Norman Cletus. And I found that to be interesting, uh, but obviously I think it's going to lose that battle. And so that's why I'm so invested in this little series. Cause I'm like, yeah, I want to see, no I'm not a big Norman Osborn fan, which is a funny thing, uh, but seeing him in this position and seeing them do something interesting with them, but knowing because he's Norman Osborn and seeing what he's done before, I mean, he ran the dark Avengers at one point. I mean, this guy got on top of the world was head of shield at one point. It, I'm telling you, he's coming back and it's gonna, I can't wait to see what happens when he does. So uh, if you haven't seen this episode yet, please go watch it. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. I don't wanna spoil anything. Uh, even though there's nothing really much to spoil, it's mostly a dialogue driven episode, but there's some, uh, there's something at the end that's pretty brutal and stuff that you might like to watch for yourself and, and discover for yourself. So definitely let me know after you watch it, what do you think of it in the comments below and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, we have uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 30 and Miles Morales number two. Those will be coming up soon. Uh, you know, I get paid on Friday, so I'll buy those books in and then I'll get those reviews to, out to you guys probably Sunday or Monday, um, you know, Sunday for one video and Monday for the other video. And then we'll be caught up, you know, with all the absolute carnage stuff finally. So thank you for your patience. I appreciate it. And we'll see you all in the future. Thanks for watching. Peace.